Hi, world. Oh, it's been a while. Can you notice in my face? I grew older. Yay! Well, I was looking at my videos and I finally made them public again. Thank you so, so very much to the 61 people that decided to hang in there after God knows how many years and how many years I haven't posted shit. Okay, so... One of the most popular videos in here are the corset, corset videos. Unfortunately, somewhere around the line, my corsets got lost. I don't know if somebody snuck in to the house and took them or anything. I don't know, really. Like, I was getting a little lacy when it came to the corset training because, like, it really hurt. To like have them in the winter because the um, lining, the rods, would get really cold. And it also kind of felt weird for people checking. Yeah. So, uh, fortunately, this thing is like, I have like four freaking bra thingies. I did talk about bras in this channel. You can see the video about bras and stuff like that. Unfortunately, ugh. I ended up getting a little bit bigger than that time. So it's a little harder to find things my size. Uh, most people are like, go to Lame Brian and stuff like that. Yo, Lame Brian be costing like $50. What the fuck? I ain't gonna pay no $50 for no bra. Oh, also, the way that I talk, people are like, OMG, why are you such a bit da da da. Okay, first of all. I don't speak English as my first language. I started learning, like, hearing English when I was, like, four. And it was fucking Bugs Bunny, the first person that, like, I heard speak English. And then eventually, like, at, at like, uh, how you say, uh, pre-K, I ended up, like, uh, having an issue with, uh, the teacher and getting into timeout because I didn't speak English. Okay, so, it, I learned English from the people around me, and I lived in an urban environment. So, most of the people that lived there were, like, Mexican like me, or Black, or other minorities. Mainly Mexican and Black. A few Puerto Rican people there, yeah, like, I have a Puerto Rican family, um... And I also have, like, a Dominican, half-Dominican brother. Um, which, yeah, I'm, like, saying a bunch of shit about myself here. Uh, okay. So, anyway. So, one of the popular videos on here that I actually could possibly do again and recreate in a weird, different way is the Korean drama videos. Now, I could kind of do mukbang and stuff like that and maybe like teach a little bit of Korean here and there or teach a little bit of Spanish here and there uh teach about sexuality um because I took some courses on human sexuality and I took some courses in social work so I could do a few things of that kind of thing because I have the background uh, Spanish, I am Mexican, so Mexican-American, but whatever. I, <laughs> I could definitely, like, defend myself in Spanish. Um, and English, well, I suck at it, so <laughs> do not come to me for English help, okay? I'm sorry, I will have to be like, no, I'm sorry, you have to find somebody else. I'll point you out to probably, like, a dictionary and yeah um let's see a korean i could do some and stuff sentence structure no words here and there and stuff like i could like i don't need that much subtitles now um but i need to learn more about like uh sentence structure and grammar and how to pronounce certain things but uh i know certain words here and there not perfect, but I learned a lot of the stuff by myself. Uh, basically using books and using YouTube and using old videos that I got from like D Dramatics. Okay, so um, 
I will mention a few people that I've been watching on YouTube that have been very influential in my life. Uh, if you're watching the video, I haven't forgotten about you. You are an amazing person. You're very smart. And I will, like, give you a shout out. But, like, in due time. Because I need, like, to do justice to that. Uh, yeah. Like, um, basically, um, do justice to, like, acid culture and, like, my stomach was weird. What the fuck? Ooh. Okay, <laughs> um, archaeology and language and all, like, I am trying to, like, learn Nahuatl. I do not pronounce the TL that well. I kind of pronounce it Nahuatl, and it would, like, you know, like, uh, Quetzalcoatl. Like, I sound like a fucking idiot, so <laughs> I am trying to get rid of the accent. I cannot get rid of my Jersey accent because I'm from North Jersey. Uh, do not come to me and say, Oh, when, oh, fucking candy, can you say Joyzy? No, we do not say Joyzy. We say Jersey. Okay, so Korean dramas. I was watching this one Korean drama called Cherry Blossoms After the Winter. I am like, I'm trying to remember and stuff. So, Cherry Blossoms After the Winter. Yeah. Uh, it's based on a uh, boy's love shonen I I don't know what to call it because it's Korean manhwa and yeah that's like Korean word for manga um manhwa so it's like m a n h h w a I'm very bad at like putting romanization and stuff so I just use Hangul, and if like I, if I ever get editing like things or something, I'll probably just use Hangul. I'm very sorry. Uh, unfortunately, that's how I learned because I suck at like like Roman letters or Latin letters or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Uh, that's why I have a hard time learning Nahuatl because like I'm dyslexic. Okay, so cherry blossom after the winter. I saw the bits and pieces of the manhwa, and I expected so much. It was very um, charged, um, extremely charged. There were pictures of them doing certain things to their bodies that I did not expect oh, at all. So, like, I was like, okay... Obviously, they're going to tone it down because if you don't know, Korea has this kind of thing where they have like a committee and that committee gets together. At least they did when I used to watch things in Korea, which was like 2006 to like 2013. And they would like, I would call it the purity committee. And they would like be like, no, you can't have this song. You can't have that song. One of the songs that was not allowed... I will tell you right now what it is. It's called um, Rainism by Rain B. Rain B is like rain and B is B-I. You could find him on YouTube. He is amazing, amazing balls and stuff like that. And he has a rain stick who he, he calls it his magic stick. And the Korean government was like, hell the fuck no. So... The same thing happened with Dumang Shingi, uh, TBXQ, exclamation mark, or TBXQ, or like, I forgot what they else they go in, in like, Tungfang Shingi or something in Chinese. I can't speak Chinese. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's so hard. And I can't do the tones. Sorry, I tried. I can't. <laughs> My tongue can only do so many things. I swear, people who speak like Nahuatl, who, like, have, do the sound with both sides of the tongue. I bet they're amazing kissers. Also Chinese people. I bet they're amazing kissers. Gotta bet. And people who do tunes and stuff like that. Koreans probably are kissers too. Good kissers. Because they do the consonants, the double consonants. And those are hard. Okay. So. Uh, da, 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 ADHD. Um... Uh, okay, so my necklace, like, I'll tell you about the 
charms and stuff like that eventually. Okay, I'm not going to edit this video because I don't have an editor. I'm trying to think. Okay, Japanese is an amazing language. I can't read it. I can't write it. I could read some uh, kanji, like, for for person and, like, rain and, like, dream and stuff like that. Oh, yes. So, yeah. Uh, so, Duman Shingi goes as Toho Shinki in Japan. Their uh, chat, sorry, sorry, not chat. Their fan group is called Big East and their Korean fan group is called Kashopia. Or uh, I used to say Kashopea, but like that's because I'm Hispanic. But yeah, anyway, their song, what is it called? Uh, Marotic, which is really good. Okay, I, I like uh, uh, my brain wants to sing it, but like my other part of the brain is like oh, I forgot the lyrics. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um. Uh. Da, 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 da. I'll, I'll probably do the, eventually the chorus. No nae mo okay. No nae, no nae, no nae. Shit, I forgot. Rain, no, <laughs> I'm confusing rainism and that's all together. Anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, Marotic, and they had to change it to under my sky instead of under my skin which under my skin they used to like write it with a dance with their body like it's so cool i wish i had an editor so i could show you guys what i mean but if i could find a picture of somebody who was amazing enough to do the editing i will pop it up somewhere eventually in the channel i'm trying trying to make a video about like my travels to Mexico because it's my homeland and the blood calls, the blood calls, the drums are drumming and it beats my heart. Anyway, so yeah, um, I will do more things about Mexico eventually. This video is about Korean dramas, Candy. Okay, so this, this fucking drama I was expecting so much. I go into it. The song, the opening song, really was so fucking cringe. And I, I, Candy, fucking Delicia, could be the cringiest person on the fucking face of the internet. If you know me from fucking, like, Instagram, which I could drop my Instagram if you guys want. I, like, I am cringe as fuck. And I will continue being cringy because I am mentally diseased. So that's just the way I am. And that's just the way I roll. I can't help it. I'm so, so, so sorry. And I hope that I don't end up breaking friendships over me being creepy and weird. Because I like creepy girls. I like monster girls. I like all that shit in creepy art and gudo kawaii art and like yami kawaii and... Like, horror stuff and true crime and, like, like trying to figure out what people do and why they do it. And, like, trying to figure out why people do, like, paraphilias and stuff like that. Trying to figure out all this stuff. If you guys want to talk about that kind of stuff, hit me up. Tell me, oh, Candy, we want to talk about paraphilias. I'll try to do a video about it. And, like, I don't know. See where that goes. What exactly do you guys want to know? And stuff like uh, since I have a background I kind of like dealt into some of these different paraphilias and remember that people are human and people deserve to be loved regardless of who or what they're attracted to as long as they don't hurt anybody physically or mentally or they like basically try to ruin people's lives and stuff like that if they're keeping their distance why is that so bad? If they're like doing stuff in artwork or in writing or fiction, they could do it all they want in fiction. It's fake. If they're doing it in art or whatever, whatever the paraphilia might be and stuff like that, even if you don't agree with it, if it's weird and kooky and whatever, and they just like it, you know, that's your opinion. They have their own opinion. Let them free their bodies and free their minds in artwork. In fake-free. Make movies. Make drawings. 
make videos, make songs, eh, as long as it's fiction, let it be. Okay, we'll talk more about that later. So, this Korean drama. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. This Korean drama starts off with the couple literally kissing. Right off the bat. No, like, sweet talk, no nothing, and stuff like that. This is what I don't understand about sexuals. Oh, my back hurts. Uh... Um, breaking things like I always do. So yeah, like, ah, fuck. So yeah, this is the thing I don't understand about sexuals. They could just, like, jump into things and, like, not form bonds, not form friendships and stuff like that. Date strangers, hook up with strangers. It is, like, stranger danger. Anybody heard of that? But that's just the way I am. Like, I just think sexuals are kind of weird. But, like, again, everybody has their own thing. Like, people think who people who have different paraphilias are fucking crazy and weird. That's their opinion. The person who has a paraphilia thinks that they're okay. And they just were born that way. As long as they don't do harm, what's the big deal? As long as they don't hurt anybody. And they're like, oh yeah, people are like, oh yeah, I'm putting art out there and stuff like that. Like... You are putting heteronormative stuff like that out there. And, oh, yeah, that's just default, so like that. Like, that's making somebody else triggered because they can't be that way. So, in their mind, that makes you the bad guy. So, yeah. Okay, so they're kissing and stuff like that. And they're holding hands and they're doing all these things. And the song sucks, monkeys. And the song keeps going and going. And I'm thinking... Candy, why are you going to watch this drama if they're basically telling you everything that's going to happen in the story already? Everything. I My teeth are weird. I know. Uh, anyway, I could tell you the story if you want to know. So, uh, so yeah, it was, um, I watched it and, okay, so... I'll give you my first impressions uh, in another video. So this is part one. And I will do part two of what exactly happened in the drama. Please keep watching. Eh, I love you. I love you. I missed you. I am very sorry. I will try to do my best and stay active. This is my little voice. And this is... Maybe I will use it more often if I feel safe and warm. I will try to you.